Here's Miracle. She's my helper. And I'm going to make a couple bouquets for our lady coming by today. So this year I've actually been making the bouquets directly in a jar or a vase. We're no longer selling bouquets to the markets where we have to put them in a sleeve. So it leaves me a little bit more freedom to build my bouquets. Could you some flowers? There it is so far. Look how pretty that one is. So I just kind of filled in here, just adding flowers to each jar. Dinner plate dahlias. I love the dinner plate dahlias because they last a lot longer than your average dahlia. Some of the dinner plates will last about a week and a half, maybe two. The regular dahlia may only last, you know, four days or so. That's a regular dahlia. Isn't it cute though? These are called zinnias. Yeah, we've got several different varieties. looking and some of them have been really big that's pretty big for a zinnia these are some zinnias I harvested this week these are the biggest zinnias we have ever had aren't they beautiful this is a coxcomb this ginormous one is a coxcomb Save seeds from your coxcombs. You'll have little black seeds at the base in there. Another abalone sun. These are so cool. marigolds, and we have them in a few different colors. We've got gold, orange, and yellow. So these are called gladiolas, and this is about the last of the gladiolas that we have growing. But they're so pretty. This is a small one, but as you can see, the flowers will open up all the way to the top. And they're so pretty, and they last a couple weeks at least. And I just love them. To make my bouquets uh, rounded so I don't just like to make a face on my bouquet the front part uh, as the main deal as the center point the focal point I actually like to round my bouquets out so I like to turn around the vase or the jar and build my bouquet all the way around so no matter what way you're looking at it it's beautiful Blind, but the 
just gonna take a rubber band, I'm gonna tie it on the bottom of each bouquet. That way the customer can just put it right into their vase or into their cups when they come to pick up their bouquets. And take a rip fan and lightly tie it on the bottom. And all of the stems, I've shared this in previous videos, I do cut them at a, an angle, at a 45 degree angle, and that's supposed to help them to drink up the water easier. And with your flowers, with your bouquets that you may buy or Maybe you have your own flowers at, at home that you grow um, to keep them a little bit longer. A florist shared with us that they use a drop of bleach to cut down on the bacteria and a teaspoon of sugar to feed their flowers. So if you don't have flower food, you can do that to keep your bouquet lasting longer. I love getting video videos of the flowers outside because the sunlight is just so gorgeous. It just doesn't compare the in indoor light doesn't compare to the beautiful sunshine look how gorgeous those are yeah